What's up? I'm Shanice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are packing for my birthday trip. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm going to be 30. So there's also like a whoo, pull back. You know what I mean? For my birthday, we are going out West. We've only really traveled along the East coast. So we wanted to do something a little different, venture out of our comfort zone, which is going to be very exciting. And luckily where we're going, it's not going to be too hot or too cold. It's going to completely embody the fall season. The weather, the scenery, the crisp air, the fall vibes will be ever present and I'm so excited. As usual, my clothes are either thrifted or secondhand so I won't be able to link them down below but a lot of the pieces are neutral, minimalist items that you can find just about anywhere. But I will say I buy my shoes firsthand so I will link them all down below. All right, so I researched the place that we're going and it's gonna be warm during the day and cooler at night. So I'm keeping that in mind as I pack my clothes. I am not an overpacker. I really don't like packing extra things. Like I don't like when I overpack and then I just have clothes that I didn't wear on the trip. I don't like that. Let me use it all. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather pack a little and use everything rather than pack a lot and not use everything. This has happened to me on two separate trips just because we didn't have an idea of what we were gonna do while we were there. And so I ended up packing something just in case here and there and I didn't even wear them. So I've already planned the trip. I already know what we're doing during the day. I know which restaurants and places we're going at night. So I have an idea of when to dress up or when to dress down. A lot of the time I will use the countdown method which allows you to reuse your pieces. However, where we're going, we're gonna be spending some time outdoors and I just don't know. If I want to reuse my clothes. The idea of the countdown method is to create a capsule wardrobe while you're on vacation so you can just kind of mix and match the pieces which is safe to say I don't know if I'm actually going to wear all of these but these are just outfit ideas. Now if you're unfamiliar with the countdown method it's basically five tops, four bottoms, three shoes, two seasonal items, and then one bag. Um, but like I said, I am going to be packing something extra, one, because it's my birthday and I'm going to have a special birthday dress, but two, like I said, I don't know if I want to reuse some of the clothes that we're going to be wearing. All right, so really quickly, here's a breakdown of what I'm bringing. For my tops, I'm doing three casual tops and two dressy tops. For my bottoms, I'm doing two casual bottoms and then two dressy bottoms. For my shoes, I'm bringing my combat boots that I can dress up or down. I'm bringing my everyday sneakers and then I'm also bringing my active wear sneakers for when we go on a trail or when we're doing lots of walking. I'm banning the rules again because I'm gonna bring flip flops. One, they can be my shower shoes, but two, there's an indoor pool at our hotel and I'll be wearing those when we go visit the pool. Which leads me to my two seasonal items which will actually be three seasonal items. So my two main seasonal items will be my leather jacket and my black fleece zip up. Now my cover up will also double as an extra shirt and I just picked a black swimsuit because it's basic AF and that's just what I need. As for my bag, I'm bringing a little black shoulder bag. It's very versatile and it'll go with everything that I'm bringing. I'm just gonna be honest here, all of my outfits are gonna be flat lays because I'm packing after I do this video. So I literally just don't feel like getting dressed and doing all of that. So here are the flat lays and ideas for each day that we're gonna be there. On the first day that we're there, we're gonna be arriving in the evening. So I'm just gonna be wearing my leggings and my fleece pullover with my walking active sneakers. At night, I'm gonna wear my black dress pants, my white button up with a tank top underneath and then my combat boots. The next day is a day of exploring and walking. We're gonna be doing some touristy things. So I wanna be casual, but also comfortable. Um, I'm doing my jeans, my Air Force Ones, my gold top, and just my bag. At night, I'm gonna be wearing my black skirt, a polka dot top, and my boots. So the next day we're gonna be going on a bus tour. So we're not gonna be doing as much walking, which means I can wear my combat boots. So I'm gonna do my jeans, my boots, um, a black t-shirt, and if it's cool enough, I'll just throw on my tan sweater over it. That night will be my birthday, so I'm gonna wear my birthday dress, a leather jacket, and my combat boots. The next day is going to be an active day. Initially, we were gonna do a hike because there's gonna be beautiful scenery, but I just found a yoga session that's gonna be at a brewery in the area that we're gonna be in for the day. So I'm gonna to try to do that. So either way, we will need some kind of active wear. 
depending on if we can get a spot at the yoga session, I will be wearing my leggings. But if not, I'll just wear my black shorts, my white tank top. I do have a green sports bra that I'll just throw on underneath. I doubt that I'll need the sweater, but I just threw it in there just in case. This is the day that, like I said, we're gonna be active. So we're gonna bring our water bottles, snacks, things like that with us. So I'm gonna be wearing my backpack instead of my purse. And then that night we're going to a casual restaurant for dinner and then we're doing something on a body of water. Because it's going to be a casual outing, I'm going to do my jeans, my black fleece, and my combat boots. The next day, I am just going to wear the outfit that I had packed in my carry-on, which is just going to be my sweatpants, a tank top, and then a white button-up that I can just kind of throw over. But that is what's fun about a capsule wardrobe is that you can just kind of mix and match the pieces to whatever you're feeling that day. I am using a lot of neutral colors, but you can definitely use bold, vibrant colors in your wardrobe as long as you have something to go with it twice. So I have these awesome red pants and I would bring a t-shirt to make it casual and then like a sexy tank to dress it up at night. If you are going to bring fun pieces, just make sure you have multiple items of clothing that can go with the fun, vibrant pieces. For me, I'm just keeping it pretty neutral just because I don't know what I'm going to find when we're out and about shopping. I just wanted to make sure that I would have basics that would go with any tops or any bottoms that I find while we're out. So that is it for the video today. I hope you got some outfit ideas. I hope you got some inspiration for when you're packing on your next trip. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.